Hey Diva Dolls, this is Crystal Chanel and I am back with another video. Now, you know today is Tuesday, so you already know what that means. You know, I had to come prepare with my tea, honey. So if you wanna see what it is that has been on my mind all month long, then you know what to do. Stay tuned. Okay, so we are back with another Tea Talk Tuesday, and I'm going to start with my facial cleanser. This is Athenia brand, and the reason I like this brand is because I get it from a shopping club that I'm a part of, and it's really affordable, and it works so well, as you can see. So for my makeup, it's the first step. I usually do this off camera, but I figure I share with you. Um... Just a little bit of things I do differently because it is a part of my makeup routine. So, okay, got my moisturizer on. Next thing I always do is use my primer. I'm using this fancy 252 primer and I just put it basically in my T-zone because that's where I am mostly oily during the day. So like right here on my nose up here. X honey do me up because it makes my makeup nice and uh, dewy it doesn't look too cakey and it looks really radiant so that's why I like this I have another one but this thing is expensive it's like 16 bucks so I like to make sure I use it all yeah I love the way it works with my makeup okay so let's just get into it so y'all today i have a couple of things i want to talk about all right so of course the first thing we're going to do is get the eyebrows popping i'm just going to go ahead and do my eyebrows that way i can talk to you dolls about some of the things that i've been thinking about for this tea talk tuesday you know i got my mint tea popping girl all i did was put one splendor in here and just one mint tea bag and some water but somebody left a comment on my videos and basically was saying something about my lips. They were like, oh, those lips do not favor you. And I was thinking to myself like, uh, first of all, I don't have any lip injectables. I don't have any anything in my lips and I love my lips. So I'm not like phased by it, but it did draw the question of cosmetics and cosmetic surgery. And if you would get it done, if you could, meaning if you could afford it, if you found a doctor that you were in love with, like what is it you would do? So I posed that question to my um, Instagram fam. And if you're not a part of the crew, don't worry, you can be. Just go ahead and follow me at Chrissy the Doll. But yeah, over 90% of everyone was like, yes, girl, I would totally do it. So I kind of wanted to touch bases on that because I can't even lie, y'all. I have always been um, thinking about getting fillers. I know y'all watching this video probably like, girl, that is not the thing to do or I'm not feeling that. I don't want to mess up my face, blah, 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 blah. But as you can see, I take pretty good care of my skin. I just kind of want to fill in this area so I don't have to wear concealer when I go out. I was thinking about that. And then like sometimes in um, pictures, I notice like right here, I have some things and I was just like considering it. So I don't know. How do y'all feel about it? Anyone watching this video, have you had lip fillers before? I don't want them, but just leave your experience down below for the next Diva doll. How about anyone um, that has any kind of Botox? My best friend, she has gotten Botox and it helps for her. I don't know. It's just something that I wanted to bring up real quick because it was a topic for a couple of days on my social media. And the thing is, y'all already know, I am an advocate for any kind of enhancements. If you are not in love with something in particular about yourself, then if you have the power to change it, why not change it? Um, the biggest thing for a lot of people I found through you know, the poll that I did, a lot of people said that they're scared um, as far as the cost or they're not sure as far as the pain. So I don't know. Maybe I'll be a guinea pig. Maybe I will sh do that and show y'all exactly, you know, what you can experience or what you can expect. Really want y'all to know it's okay. Don't let anyone shun you. Don't let your family tell you it's not a good idea. Don't let your 
boyfriend or girlfriend tell you it's not a good idea, if you feel like you need to do something so that you feel your best self, then go ahead and do it. Okay? Like I 100% say that because not only does your appearance tie in with how you feel and how you think about yourself, but it also ties in other things around you. Now what I mean by that is like your actual security with your relationships or your security at your job. Like don't believe for a second that if you have insecurities with yourself that it won't affect the relationships around you or the work around you. So just think about the times where you knew you looked good, you felt good, and that translated into like a good day for you. That stuff is real. Now let's amplify that. Secret. Now the secret, that's actually available on YouTube, y'all. You can actually type in the secret and pull up videos on YouTube talking about, you know, it's like an audio, it's like a movie. So the thing is, let me just break a couple of things down with the secret. All about the laws of attraction and there's so many gems you're gonna hear when you watch it. In fact, it's one of those things that you can watch over and over again, especially when you need a pickup and each time you're probably, like myself, it's going to, you're going to hear a different part of the movie that stands out more to you that you reflect more on versus you know, another day if you listen to it. Just wanted to talk about it real quick because this is tea, honey. Like, <laughs> let me take a sip. The tea is, if your mind ain't right, your world ain't gonna be right around you, okay? So back to you wanting to look your best, to feel your best, that will translate into your world because then you'll feel like you're unstoppable. When you feel unstoppable, you can imagine things and see things in a different perspective, like in a different light than normal. You feel like you can do anything. If you can think it, it can be done. I know that sounds really cliche, like if you can think it, you can achieve it, okay? so. When I feel my best is when I look my best and that's when my mind is right. I'm super excited, I'm positive about life. And the thing is, when we're talking about goal setting, I know a lot of people ask me about how to start a business, things like that. But before you even logistically get going with doing paperwork, registering your business, things like that, um, you have to have the idea. And when you have the idea, it has to be clear. Clarity is power. Just by being clear, you will automatically begin to magnetize things to you, to your life. The law of mentalism is about the mind. Everything that we have ever created, everything that has ever existed, existed first in the mind. All thoughts are the beginning of all things real, all things that you can touch and feel began in the mind it's all about being clear i just heard that on the laws of attraction and that's funny because no matter how many times i've watched that that never pointed out to me but now that i'm ready to do my vision board that's one of the things i heard today so um with the laws of attraction it basically lets you know you got to be really clear on what you want okay so what does that look like he gave an example in the video that if you want to be rich enough to have your own yacht Okay, cool. You can't just say that. You have to, You actually have to take steps towards that. Like, you have to know, well, how much does it cost to have a yacht? What's included with having a, a yacht? You know, um, you get those details and now it's like, okay, well, how much do I need to make? And you now know that number and now you decide how you're gonna do that. Um, it's really hard, that part is, as far as figuring out how you're going to get to the end goal because a lot of times, we just have the beginning as far as where we start now. And then a lot of times we have an end in mind as far as how we want to live. But the figuring out how is, is like, we don't know exactly how we're going to get there. So what I took today from the secret, from that, ex, that little excerpt that I saw was that you may not know how you're going to get there, but the more you know about your journey, like the more you know about what you want, um, the universe will help you figure it out. So if you want to be wealthy, you've got to decide what wealth is to you. Define it. What does it mean? How much money do you have to have? 
For me, financial independence meant having $30 million producing income, which allows me the lifestyle I want without having to work. And so I've achieved that. But I knew exactly what I wanted because I looked at what it would cost me to live my lifestyle. So um, in regards to a yacht, that example, you need to know everything about it. In fact, let's, let's just talk in real terms, okay? So I want a new car. I want a white Mercedes and I have to figure out the model I want, the year I want. I have to figure out the maintenance cost. I have to figure out um, how much my insurance is going to be. Like I need to know all these things. So once I have the full picture, I now can focus on what's next. Um, if I need X, if, if I need a, you know, $60,000 to maintain my car, how can I get $60,000? So it, it makes your mind go to the next step and subconsciously you're building a plan for yourself. So um, that's why I like vision boards because you are literally deciding, you know, what you want to take shape in your life. And then once you do decide, you actually have it in front of you as a constant reminder, Fingers. which is like my favorite palette. It's the Naked Heat palette. And I'm going to use the color Sauced. And I'm just going to put that in my, um, I guess this area, like my crease area. And kind of pull it down a little. It's like a natural color, but I like to have like a base, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to follow on top of that with a darker color, which is like more of a regular brown. And then on top of that, I'm going to pat some dark brown to the vision board thing. So the idea is you want to be as clear as possible because if you're really clear on what you want, that's what's going to happen. Okay. Your life in general, even if you don't do a vision board, I feel like you should romanticize your life. And I ain't talking about sex either. You little nasties. <laughs> Now, what does it mean to romanticize your life? When I say you need to romanticize your life, I mean all those people that you look at online and you're, you're liking their pictures, you're saving their posts to Pinterest. These are things that you admire for some reason, things that you wish you can have, but why not transition those wants into your actual life? So, what do I mean? If there's something that you've been coveting as far as a place you want to travel to, uh, the way you want to look, uh, the type of clothes you want to wear, the type of um, things you want to be able to buy, I feel like you should romanticize your life. For example, for me, one of the things that I used to romanticize about all the time and I was just like obsessed with learning people's stories about was them working for themselves. So that was something I've always saved, you know, articles to or how they did it, like those kind of things. I would always just go back to it, read it. And then I started realizing like, okay, well, I want this bad. So how can I do it? So I put a plan in motion. First of all, I, I believed it, it was possible. Okay. So I believed it was possible. And then once I put a plan in motion, the way that plan looked, all I did was write out the things that I love to do. And then I started writing out. Um, things that I've heard about or things that I knew that possibly I can get paid for. In the U.S. show that grateful people earn more money and are better at innovation. So the first step to becoming more wealthy is become more grateful. Find the good in your world right now and you'll take a first step to become more wealthy. Like, there's nothing wrong whether it's big or small, whether it's vain or not. I don't care. Life is short, man. Do what makes you happy. Okay, just a pause for a second. I'm just gonna go ahead and pack out this dark brown. I'm using the ashes color. I'm gonna pack out just the, the corner with this on both sides. But I, I really feel like I'm over here beating a dead horse with what I'm saying about romanticizing your life. It's just that if you see something that you want, don't think it's not obtainable to you. Just make a plan on how to get it, whether it's big or small. A question I get a lot and a question I actually ask, ask myself a lot is how do you motivate yourself? All right, y'all. Like I said, it's my first time doing a cut crease. So give me a second, actually. I uh, just wanna make sure. 
Maybe I should use a smaller brush. Oh man, or a brush that was more, um, like maybe smaller that was more precise. So you know I'm using this color. This color is called Fringe and it's from the Electric Urban Decay palette. I'm just going to put some on my brush and then pack it on where I just did that. Can y'all see? Thank you for rocking with your girl and being here. And I would say really focus on a schedule. So for me, Mondays are mandatory. I get up and make something happen. But for me to self-motivate, I literally make a to-do list to everything. I put due dates next to my to-do list. And sometimes I'll have to choose on my to-do list what I got to do first. I prioritize uh, my to-do list. Okay, so that is one of the ways to stay motivated because if you can see what you have to do out on paper on a list instead of trying to keep it all in your head that's going to be easy for you so now that i got that on i'm going to go back with that ashes color which is the darker brown i was using and just kind of make it more you know a little deeper in this And then I'm just going to use a clean blending brush and just blend it on out. All right. So I'm gonna use my makeup wipes and I love these wipes. These I got from the same shopping club. I get all my stuff. If I can get it shipped to me, I'm doing it, honey. And being that it's cheaper than my Sam's Club membership, I just, have it sent to me once a month. So I'm just gonna wipe this up a little on a diagonal. You can also use tape beforehand if you want. But now that I have that done, the next step of course is to put on my foundation. This is the Fenty Beauty. This is like my new favorite. Like I don't even know how I live life without it. Like I be having jokes with my sister. Like we have jokes all the time talking about Rihanna, like girlfriend, once you gonna get back to the music. We be like, girl, please don't stop the music. Cause we need it, you know, come back to the music. But girl, actually you can go ahead and stay in the lab cooking up all these makeup um, must haves because her foundation is lit. Like I just love how matte it is and I love how it oxidizes and it really does uh, fit your skin tone and one of the secrets if you guys just watched my flawless foundation Routine I just posted that not too long ago That's gonna show you more as far as how I do like my actual base like in detail All right now I'm excited. I haven't used this on camera yet. This is the Fenty Beauty. This is number 340 that I use um, for my concealer Really happy with the coverage. Not sure about the color all the way because I kind of want it to be a little bit more um, yellow, but I mean, it's pretty yellow as you can see without, you know, washing me out. So that's 340 and then I use color 445 for the contour and I really don't do a lot with the contour. I put a little on the outside, like to contour my nose. And really that's it. The rest I do in powder with the contour. So with the contour, I, I mean with the concealer and the contour, I let it sit for a second because I'm gonna damp my sponge and out the concealer now that it had a chance to sit. I'm just blending out the brown first on my nose and then I'm going to go back and do the middle. My 
Too Faced, Ben Nye, and Laura Mercier. I'm just gonna drop some Ben Nye right in the Laura Mercier. Regular sponge here. And now where I have my concealer, I'm just gonna set that. But y'all, like sometimes you can't fix a situation. I, and I'm, I'm learning this so much as I grow older. You can't fix everyone. Everyone um, can't be saved. You just sometimes gotta let people go through their shit. But it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be involved with it. So I'm saying protect your energy at all costs. So don't feel bad. Because you can't save everyone. Okay. Definitely had to sip tea on that one. Because being a woman, being a cancer woman, we got this nurturing thing about ourselves, right? And it's like, you feel like you got to be the one to fix it. If you don't fix it, then oh my God, how's it going to get fixed? The truth is, if it's going to get fixed, it's going to happen without you. You, it's, it's, I mean, it, it can happen without you. Imagine if God forbid you died that same day. They're still going to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't need you to figure it out. Now, granted, you may feel kind of responsible and you feel like you want to be that person to help them. But sometimes you not helping them is helping yourself. And sometimes that helps them too. If you're not aware, like energy is contagious. Okay. So when you're talking about catching a vibe, legit, you can catch a good vibe. You can also catch a bad vibe. Okay. Go ahead and use this NYX white liner just to pop my eyes a little bit. Like a brush stroke. So that's what I'm going to use next for me to do this liner. I'm going to get close because I know everyone always wants to see like how do you do this part. So this is what I do. I take it from the corner of my eye. I do a stroke up like that. And then I come here on the inside of my eye as if it were going to keep going down. Like a little triangle right there. And then I take it from that triangle. I start to go over corner to end. And now I'm going to take the top of this, like where my point is of my tail. Make it a little darker. But I'm going to kind of come down and just connect it. And you just color in the little part. So I don't like how that dip is. So I'm going to try to like put a line right on top of it. So there we have it. And now I'm going to do the other one next. Okay. So as you can see, I went ahead and put on my lashes, which are my faves. These are called Chrissy the Dolls. And... I will give you more details on that soon. Um, but I also did my cons my um, highlighter and I do have the flawless foundation video that has the details of how I place it on my face, okay? So the last part is I'm just gonna use a natural lip liner. This is by LA Girl and this is in color mauve, GP549. And I'm just gonna use a lip gloss today. It's like a natural pink color. This is the gloss I told you about, the boy bait. Because this is gloss, it's a little trans, you know, it's a little see-through. Uh, if you want it to be more opaque, but still like this peachy pink color, then I'll recommend boy on top of Max Angel, okay? So that's like a pinky, shimmery, uh, nudie color. Okay, doll, so that 
is it. That wraps up our Tea Talk Tuesday for this month. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. Also, share this video with a friend. Hopefully you got something from this video, but I would love for you to share it with a friend. That way they can get something as well. If you don't, also follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat. Be sure that you do that. And my name is at Chrissy the Doll. And that's really it, dolls. Also, subscribe to this channel and click that bell so you get all my alerts. Um, again, I want to thank you, dolls, for rocking with your girl. I'm at 92,000 subscribers. I'm on my way to 100K. So, honey, if you are watching this video, it's free. Go ahead and subscribe. While you at it, go ahead and look down below in the box. You can subscribe to my fitness as well as my vlog channel and hit that bell, okay? Because I heard that sometimes YouTube don't be alerting you, dolls, when I have a new video. So be sure to hit those notifications, turn them on so that you know when I post. So again, I want to thank you dolls all for your support. And as always, stay fabulous and stay fierce.